Peace family, welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. Today, as you can see, I am in the snow. I'm usually not in the snow because I'm usually uh, in where I live, which is uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. But right now, I drove 2,700 miles up here to Montana just to get away from the usual weather and just to you know be able to relax, but I'm also doing work as well. I'm always doing work, 24 seven I'm doing work, regardless of where I'm going, and what I'm doing, I'm doing work. I'm answering phone calls, emails, whatever it takes to help you all. That's what I'm going to do. So, although I'm, I guess you could say taking a vacation, but it's not really a vacation because I'm still working as well. Now, what I want to discuss today is I want to discuss um, when should you actually get a credit card? When should you apply for a credit card uh, during the credit healing process? Now, the answer to that question is, you should apply after you reach a certain credit score. If a credit score is really low, um, now there's a difference, as you know, that there's a secured credit card and also there's an unsecured credit card. If you can if you can get a secured credit card, you should get that during the process. Even if you you know even if you're just starting, you should try to get a secured credit card, put three hundred dollars down on it, and then from there, what you're going to do is that you're going to uh, just you know you're going to Pay, you're gonna use it and then pay it off um, every month, you know. But when you get a uh, unsecured and unsecured credit card, that's what you want to get when you want to really, really start to build your credit. Now, I would suggest that you apply once you get up to like a 630 credit score and above. Um, your interest rates are going to be, you know, relatively high if you are around a 630. However, you can always, uh, you don't have to use them if you don't want but having that trade line or that available credit is going to help your credit scores increase they're going to temporarily drop um because what's going to happen is that you may get like a heart inquiry or you're going to get a heart inquiry on your credit report um which is anywhere between two to five points relatively but um it's still going to help your credit score i would suggest that you get up to three credit cards and then make sure to always 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 pay your credit cards on time um, pay them within 30 days of uh you know after you, you know within the, the time the time period the dedicated time frame that they give you um so you should do it once you get above like a 630 640 credit score but you have to be very very particular and very mindful of applying because you don't want to apply for those that you do not and you cannot qualify for there are certain credit monitoring services such as creditcarmen.com i think that creditchecktotal.com as well and others they actually will show you based on your credit score which of the uh, credit cards that you can actually apply for and which ones that you'll be approved for so you can use those uh, credit monitoring services to be able to look at your credit score and see which ones, which credit cards that you can apply for. One of our credit healing customers, he just applied and he sent me an email stating that, his name is Benjamin, stating that he applied and he was approved for $12,000 for a Quicksilver Capital One credit card. That was actually really good. I believe that that's, that, that was his first credit card and, and when he applied, you know, uh, I think that was first credit card when he applied, he actually was approved, which is really good, but he used it, but he applied after a few months of using my credit healing program. So you want to wait till you get like certain heart inquiries off. You want to wait till you get certain derogatory items off. You know, wait till you get certain things off before you really start to apply because they're going to look at all, all of that. The banks are going to look at, you know, how many late payments do you have? How many collection items you have, etc. How many revolving accounts you have, which is why I would suggest that if you're just starting off, um, revolving account is usually, you know, if you have something like a credit card. And if you can't apply for an unsecured credit card, then you can apply for a secure credit card, and then you'll have at least one revolving account open. And then from there, all you have to do is just uh, keep on, you know, building your credit, keep on getting the negative items removed, and then from there, what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to apply and then get um, credit cards with large amounts on that. That's what you want to be able to do. And once your credit, once your, um, the amount of available credit that is actually on your credit cards 
increases, what happens is that your credit score increases because that makes it look good to lenders when, when you're trying to apply for loans. So basically, that's to say that the more available credit you have, uh, what happens is that it makes it seem as though that you are not in need for money because it says, okay, well, he has available credit, so that means that, okay, that 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 he's somebody that I can work with because they, that's what they look at. They look at the amount of credit that you have. They do look at your bank statements, et cetera, but your credit and the available credit that you have is very important because they don't want to do business with someone who looks like that they are in a lot of debt. So I will wait to um, around the third or fourth round after disputing which is three to four months after disputing before you actually go and apply for an unsecured credit card because you want to get the best rates you want to get the best type of credit card that you can use so you can be able to get you know uh you know free bonus mileage flight mileage um gas mileage you want to be able to get the best rates because in truth credit cards can actually benefit you especially if they're really good i know for a fact that they have benefited me um and i know that they'll benefit you as well all right so i want to be able to give that to you all let you all know that you know once you start to repair your credit get items removed then you apply if you want to ask me more about credit cards you can actually contact me at credithealing at gmail.com and also if you're ready to get started and you want to start improving your credit go to www.credithealing.org peace